Good evening, uh, everybody, and thank you for this opportunity given us to present our initiative. Yeah. No, no. Uh, oh, okay. You give me the, the mobile one. Where is it? Oh, I'm taking time, please. Let me stay here just, yeah, please. So we want to thank you for this opportunity given us to present our initiative of international university cooperation with Africa in informal science learning activities for sustainable development. But not only that, thank you very much, yeah. Most importantly, we want to thank you for having chosen this theme of science education as a crucial fit to respond to the double challenges that uh, we uh, talked about uh, yesterday. Um, that is, how to sustain not only a healthy environment, but also uh, the continued scientific and technological and socioeconomic advancement especially to do this through a holistic science and technological education that not only uh, sharpens our scientific skills, but also inculcates values and attitudes that help us to take care of the environment, and especially to begin to do this early in life. Uh, that is what our Petron Institution, the president of our Petron Institution, Cardinal Ravasi, um, loves to emphasize. And African students, speak, I mean, especially studying um, in foreign lands, they harp on this theme. We don't begin early. We have tried to respond to this, especially through the initiative we are carrying out that we are presenting. Especially, um, we want to make a brief comment on what the Holy Father Pope Francis taught us in Laudato Si, his new encyclical on this theme, um, his relationship to science education. We have to commend him because with that encyclical letter, what marvels so many people is how he uses scientific argumentation, the recent findings, to address uh, the issues, especially to buttress his message and religious message and even moral messages on the team. With this, he sets science in public agenda. So many authors have written on this, especially uh, with the circulation of uh, scientific information in public media or in society, these little, little channels, they help to establish the significant role science plays in our society. And uh, our president, the president of this Pontifical Council, uh, um, uh, Professor Weber, and in a session like this in 2003, he, had, he mentioned something like this also, especially the role that science plays in uh, refining world views and cultural values. We give our heartfelt sympathies to people from funds that are here for what happened. But um, that addresses, sets us the importance of also enlarging our world views with science, secluding in our society, they stimulate us to face the challenges of whether the world views we hold, whether the attitudes we hold facilitate human living together. He returns science and technology to real life situation. When science is in real life situation, it leaves the hubris of trying to solve problems all alone. It enters into dialogical interaction with other domains, listening to them what they have to offer. It's open then to know that um, uh, um, science and technological education should also cover other domains of human living to be accompanied with human formation, 
so that we get not only know-how, but also know how to be human beings and how to use it. Returning science to real life situation helps to make science interesting. It helps to make it motivating. If science is not used to address concrete human needs, it looks abstract. We know the difference between a theoretical equation or description of something that doesn't cover all the intricate parameters and the real equations of substances, of realities, that cover the parameters that make them function, that make them operative. So that he returns science to near life in the real life situation helps us, it helps to make it interesting. It gives to it the kick that usually a young people find in it. They love challenges. And I'm happy that uh, the, my, the, the speakers that spoke before me came to the theme of curiosity and interest. I thank all of you for mentioning both the first one and the second one. This curiosity uh, that is important that uh, the organizer of this, uh, uh, of this workshop had talked about remarked how it is diminishing. Also, now impairs experts in science education how to return interest and curiosity, motivation in the field of science and technology so that there will be those who are going to carry on the great works, the great efforts you have all made. We know how efforts are made. I know one of the, one of our, some professors now, the school, the president, the president of the School of um, uh, Aerospace Engineering approached us and said, Father Tobichi, we want you to use the, AS we want, to, want you to help us use the ASCO platform to recruit students for us from Africa so that when we give them what we have, they can develop it and carry it further. How can students, how can young people be curious when they don't have a reflective and recollected lifestyle or attitude to help them be fully present and attend to given realities so as to appreciate and familiarize themselves with the new possibilities that these open, the marvels that are embedded in them? How can they be able to subject their hunches, their surmises, to texting by experimental evidence when they do not have humility? How can they share and publish their findings without cheating with data if they don't have truthfulness, if they don't have sincerity, if they don't have charity and love. Those attitudes that the Holy Father taught us in this is new work, in this is new teaching, to cultivate that would help advance the science and technological affair. That is why we would suggest this Pontifical Academy should give him an award for uh, being a friend of science. The current trend is to return science to new life situations, real life situations through the so-called hands-on and minds-on interactive uh, format, science event-based education uh, that usually is the tough of science centers. Those who spoke about Disney World, something like that, and uh, some of our, our presenters, others who have mentioned this, the outreach programs and this. But um, we don't have such situations yet in Africa. It is not widespread. It's new in our own world. That is why, out of intellectual charity, students and uh, um, young people from all parts of the world, in response to the appeal of the Holy Father, uh, Emeritus Pope, 
uh, Benedict XVI in 2005 and 2006 is appeal for concrete initiatives of international university cooperation with Africa. They chose to embark on this uh, initiative to extend what they have also into Africa. Because Manu Slavat Manu, not only that is just for the benefit of the Africans, but is also for their own benefit. In sharing what they have with others, that is the difference between intellectual charity and material charity. In sharing what they have, oh sorry, I spent it here. In sharing what they have, they develop it, they build it. And so the strong point in this is that international students realize this event in a new context like Africa. Um, I know I've seen your hand, uh, Professor. Um, I will round up. I will round up, yeah. So that's the, that's the strong point of what we do. They realize this event in a new cultural context like Africa. And then um, uh, we know the social cultural context of Africa, yes, it has so many resources, but it's no longer so many, not so many resources alone. They have also got gray matter and uh, uh, that also um, they, they have knowledge. What they require is this mobilization through cultural values that will help them also devote efforts in this field. And this is what we try to do through this um, uh, uh, informal science learning activities through science centers. Not only to be located in one place, but in different parts of the continent. Hey, fellow. Yeah. At about the time you're, are you asking? Okay, yes, yes, let me, let me round, let me conclude. Let me conclude. Um, this is what, we, what that's, what's one of the problems, one of the, one of the challenges of students, African students studying in foreign lands, what they do. They say, we have so many resources, we have culture, but why do we go around looking for wealth elsewhere? looking for a life, better life elsewhere. When we have uh, abundant resources, that is why they need scientific literacy. That's what challenges them. And one of, the, one of the difficult things, one of the difficult things they say, their report is that they say, the problem is in lack of self-confidence in our ability. They regard it, someone has commented yesterday, being science is being taught in foreign language. The realities that they evoke are not the realities within their own environment that will enable them to exercise their own potentials here. But when they come together with their foreign colleagues and try their hands on this, through these uh, interactive science exhibits and demonstrations with their foreign colleagues, they are motivated, they are encouraged. They see that they can do it and they advance. So that's what essentially what we do. Um, and um, this is essentially what we do. Um, um, then current, our current activities include um, training of the students who are going to do that, Nemo that, what non habit. And after training, they go out and these uh, outreach programs through science visitation, through um, visits to the science centers themselves, and also through awareness raising campaigns. And uh, this is that what they are there, that we see there. But then, um, in response to what the Holy Father told us, they just came up with these activities also, not only using science to raise awareness about uh, ecological issues, but also trying to mobilize them to do something about that. They came up with a clean and green campaign, uh, planting trees and planting grasses, and also uh, removing sachets, water sachets, that are not biodegradable. This is some of the I things think, they uh, do. And uh, uh, this is just the evaluation. I'm, I'm at, at the end yes. with the evaluation, yeah? Okay? I'm at the end with the evaluation. Yeah. Uh, they need the students, they confess. I already cited the university students themselves several times. That's what they said. And then and, uh, I wanted to mention what His Holiness there said. 
And that is, is a social issue. It's, not, it's an issue of justice to extend also access to science and technological education to Africans, especially to do this with a pedagogical method and resource that is adapted to their sociocultural environment. Thank you.